start off nice and simple with this little white top. It looks like a pirate top. Looks like something I could wear as a pirate cosplay. This is looking a little bit cheap with this uh, loose thread just there. It feels like very thin fabric too, so um, this is probably going to be quite sheer. But I do like how puffy the sleeves are. They look very structured. Alright, top number one. Hmm. Hmm, if you guys know where I could get a top like this that is made of a bit of a thicker fabric and also without loose threads, that'd be great. I personally love this neckline. I love any sort of squared off neckline. It's very short as a crop top. Sometimes crop tops will come down, you know, kind of toward the belly button. This is quite short. My bra is just, just underneath this. It's quite stretchy. It's got a lot of stretch in this area here and also heaps of stretch in the sleeves too. So size is quite flexible. Ow! The next top is a very similar style. It's got the same sort of neckline and the same sorts of sleeves, but it's got little drawstrings. This one is made much better than the one that I'm wearing. This doesn't have any loose threads on it at all. It's a very nice material too. Doesn't look too sheer. Very soft material. And obviously, because it's green, it's instantly the best thing in this video. Alrighty, so I don't know if this one is supposed to be worn on the shoulder or off the shoulder. I have it off the shoulder at the moment. On the shoulder, see, on the shoulder makes it look a little bit... You know, it kind of squashes out the sleeves a little bit. The one that I was just in, the white one, when it was on the shoulder, the sleeves kind of held their shape really well. But when this goes on the shoulder, the sleeves kind of flatten out a bit. So I actually prefer it off. Now this one has a zip on the side, so it does hug your figure quite nicely. It's not as cropped as what the other one was. The other one was quite an extreme crop. Obviously because this one has the drawstrings, it's very flexible whether or not you wear it lower on your waist or higher. I think it looks so pretty with these little drawstrings like this. This is, next up, this top is very Brandy Melville to me except a thousand times cheaper. This one has little ties on the side, which means, again, like this sort of style, you can kind of adjust it to fit your waistline depending where you want to wear it. The colour, perfect colour. My favourite colour. I don't trust you. It's a uh, springtime in Australia. You know what that means. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, Archie's uh, having a time out. So, okay, so um, this dress is confusing. I'm completely incompetent at lacing anything. But I got it done. So this dress isn't exactly what I'd hoped for. So the problem is that in the pictures, the model was wearing it off the shoulder, uh, and then she was also wearing it on the shoulder in some, off the shoulder in other pictures. But when you wear it off the shoulder, at least for me, it's falling down like this. So you can see the inner lining on it. It should really be sitting like this, and this should be sitting here. The problem is this part doesn't have any elastic in it. This upper part of the sleeve, no elastic. The lower part does have it, so obviously the lower part will sit wherever you want it to, but the upper part just flops down. Very upsetting. So if I try and wear it on the shoulder, like this, again, like I said, there's no elastic up here to keep it up. So it might stay up for a minute, but then it'll just fall straight back down. So that's annoying, and I will have to sew some elastic in there, because aside from that, I actually quite like the dress. This has drawstrings at the bottom of it here, which are really cute because you can adjust the length. I've just tucked it up just ever so slightly. I didn't want it to be too short, but you can make it shorter or longer depending on how long you want your dress to be. The only issue is that the inner lining, it is lined with like a white kind of fabric. The inner lining is really short. So this part is longer, but the lining is shorter. So just depending on, I guess, your body shape and where this sits on you, it could end up flashing people if you're not careful because it is very, very sheer. But there it goes again, falling down and revealing the inner lining. This is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to wear this anywhere until I fix that up. But uh, aside from the inner lining being too short and the sleeves being too floppy, it is a really, really cute dress, but uh, I can't recommend it to you because if you bought it, it would turn up and you would probably have the same problems with it that I'm having. So that's bothering me too much to be able to recommend this to you. If you guys know where I could get a dress of this style that's um, maybe made better, if you know any stores that sell this nice sort of florally drapey type of dress, please let me know down below because I adore this style and the weather's warming up in Australia so I want to be getting out and wearing things like this or... Damn it! And I also really, really love the colour of this one too. This is so pretty. This will be nice in pictures, but I can't recommend that anyone buys it. Alright, there's also this top, which is a very similar style to two of the others we looked at before. It's got the same puffy sleeves, the squared off neckline. It's super, super stretchy, so this again should have quite versatile sizing. The buttons on the front are fake buttons. 
they're just sewn on purely for decoration. I would have liked it if they were functional buttons. I love the gingham print, it looks like a pastel picnic rug. Okay, so these sleeves are teeny tiny. They're really, really small despite having the elastic in them. I don't think that they want to be worn up like this. I'm pretty sure that they want to be worn off the shoulder like that because they just aren't sitting properly up here. So as soon as you put them off the shoulder, they feel way more comfortable. Despite how cute the top is, my criticism of it is that it, it feels very cheap. I believe it's, it's kind of like linen. I don't think it's actually linen. It's like a cheaper version of linen. There's a few loose threads on the fake buttons and just the overall thing, even though it looks quite nice, from a distance, up close, it's not really very impressive. It's a cheap piece of clothing and that reflects in the craftsmanship. This one on the other hand, that was made so nicely. This felt beautiful and expensive, but this one, this feels cheap. It is cheap and it feels cheap, so. If you like the pastel picnic rug aesthetic, then you probably would be a fan. But if you're looking for quality instead, go for something more like this one. All right, next up is a pearl button cardigan. Now, if you guys saw my latest ASOS haul, the very last cardigan that I showed was a blue cardigan with pearl buttons. Now, um, that's what I thought this one was going to be, but this one turned up and the buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom. Now, the thing was that in the pictures, I, I just naively assumed that it went all the way down. I didn't think that it would stop halfway. When I compare this to that one I got from ASOS, if you held them side by side, you would know that this one is cheaper. This one has some sort of uneven stitching along here. It's got a lot of loose threads here too. There's also some loose threads where the sleeves connect at the back. So it's not very high quality, but that being said, the one I got from ASOS was 60 Australian dollars. This is a lot cheaper, but the buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom. So can't really win, can you? Okay, so the ASOS cardigan felt really, really warm and cozy. This one, it feels cozy because it's very soft, but it doesn't feel warm at all. I'm actually kind of cold standing here. The air conditioning is making me cold and this isn't doing anything to help me warm up. I think that the fabric just isn't knitted as tightly as what the ASOS one was, so the ASOS one really trapped the heat. This one is letting the heat escape and it's very, very cold. Some of you guys might actually prefer that the buttons don't go all the way down. Oh! Huh. Look. This has thumb holes. Except my arms are too long. Ugh. I love thumb holes. I mean, I, I know, yes, you can just put a hole in any sleeve and make a thumb hole. I know because I've done that many, many times in the past, but then it tends to kind of tear. I think this part here might actually start to tear because it's not reinforced around the thumb holes. Also, now that my thumbs are in the thumb holes, the top isn't sitting at the right height and it's not sitting right around here. Look. Trying to adjust it a little bit doesn't really help. So with the length of my arms, I can't actually put my thumbs in these thumb holes. But then when I don't have my thumbs in the thumb holes, it just looks like I have holes in my sleeves. I will say this, guys. In the ASOS video, I wasn't wearing a push-up bra or anything like that. I'm wearing one today, and what a difference it makes. <laughs> this is a Victoria's Secret bra. Yeah. This top, if you have long arms, and if you want the buttons to go all the way down the front, I don't recommend it at all. Maybe if you've got shorter arms and you really like the look of that other style of cardigan but you can't quite afford it from that brand from ASOS, you could always go for this one. I like this color a lot more than I like the color of the ASOS cardigan. The ASOS cardigan was still a beautiful blue, I did love it, but this is more of a pastel blue, so I do like the shade a little bit more. There's just, there's pros and there's cons. So, can't say I recommend it entirely, but if you like it, if you think that it looks quite nice on me and you don't mind the weird thumb hole situation, then maybe you would love this one. Now, speaking of blue cardigans, here's another one. This is the type of cardigan that ties up at the front. It's just got a very simple tie. Now, I've seen some DIY projects where you can get like a sweater or something and you can cut it down the front and then just add in some little ties, which is very cute. It's a nice style. I see a lot of girls on Instagram wearing clothes like this. I don't know if I can entirely pull this off just because of this area here. I'd... A lot of the girls that I see wearing this look quite filled out and it just sits very nicely on them. I feel like this is kind of going to gape open on me a little bit. Let's have a look. Standing like this, not looking too bad, huh? Standing like this. Mm. So, obviously, we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, you don't have to wear this with nothing underneath. In the pictures, the model was wearing this with nothing underneath and she looks great, but if 
I do that, I'm not really loving it. It just looks kind of silly. Not kind of silly, just like really, really silly. My mother would scream if I left the house dressed like this. I don't know, I just, I just don't think that I have the shape to pull it off. I just, I just don't. I love this style and I've loved it because of all the beautiful girls I've seen wearing it on Instagram. But, you know, now that I've received it, it's just not right for me. Not everything is going to suit every body. You know, you're often going to see things online that you think look great and then you receive them and then you don't feel great wearing it. It's nothing about you or your body. It's not that your body isn't right or your body's not as good as the person in the pictures. It's just that certain clothing suits certain body shapes and certain sizes in the chest and things like that. And um, I, I can't rock this without anything underneath. But if I was wearing something underneath this, you know, like a, a little mini dress or something, it'd be totally fine. I wouldn't have a single complaint. So if you're just looking for something like a nice springtime cardigan to put on over like a strapless dress, I do think you'd really, really like this because this is really lovely soft material. It's so comfortable. The sleeves are also a really nice length too, not like that other one. The sleeves are way too short. These sleeves are lovely and long. This is a beautiful shade of blue. I adore it. And it comes in other colors too. So I did also pick it up in pink. Before I change into the pink one, I want to show you some bags because I did get these cute bags in pink and blue. So I figure with the blue cardigan, I can wear the pink bag. So these bags, these are unusual. These feel gorgeous. This is a faux leather. It's really, really soft, like incredibly soft. They actually uh, have these really sturdy, uh, I don't know, what do you call this? this? This is metal here and you pull it, pops open and this is very very heavy and very thick it's got these really hardcore heavy kind of hinges on it too don't want to get your fingers stuck in there now I believe that these bags are a copy of um, how do I say it Bottega Veneta Bottega Venetia Bottega Bottega Veneta why are luxury brands always so hard to pronounce? These were pretty expensive. Really quite expensive, actually. This is where the bulk of the expense of this haul came from. You know, this is a 500 US dollar haul, and uh, there's not a huge amount of clothing because these were so expensive. But these are gorgeous. They're so big. Like, this this would fit, look, it doesn't quite fit my head because the uh, metal just doesn't expand quite enough. But the inside of it would fit my head. It's like a Hermione Granger bottomless bag. It just goes on and on and on. Now obviously it doesn't have a strap, so you can't wear it over the shoulder or anything like that. And also there's nothing on the inside where you could attach a strap. This is supposed to be a clutch. You kind of have to, I guess, just hold it. How do you fashionably hold a clutch? Like a fan. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! I figured it out. Like this. Like this. Like a little baby. Hold it like a little baby. It's as soft as a baby. No really, this is so soft. I, I actually quite enjoy this look. Not bad at all. This is very cute. Oh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes, queen. Yes. Okay, I think I prefer the pink cardigan to the blue one because this shade of pink is delicious. I just, oh, I love it so much. It's beautiful. Now pairing the pink with the blue bag this time. This blue bag does remind me a lot of the Cookie Monster. So I prefer the pink cardigan to the blue one. And I also prefer the pink bag to the blue one. I think that this blue is just it's a little bit too greyish looking for me. The pink just looks nice and soft and supple, I guess. These are like some of my favorite bags now. I'm so excited to start wearing these. Might be a little bit inconvenient because they don't have a strap, so you just kind of have to carry it all the time. But I don't mind because it's so stylish. And you know, we struggle for fashion. Now, the last clothing items are two of the same thing. These are dresses and they're identical except the difference is that I got one in a medium and one in a small because in the reviews on the website, some people were saying excellent fit, other people were saying you should size up and other people were saying you should size down. So I was like, okay, let us All right, so here's the size small. This dress is glorious and I adore it. The small is feeling kind of tight around my chest just here. I'm not wearing a push-up bra. I actually wouldn't be able to fit into this dress if I was wearing a push-up bra. So, I am agreeing with the sizing up. This dress is a beautiful length. I don't know if you can see the bottom of it. Can you see? I hope you can see it. My eyesight is too blurry to actually see on the screen there. I'm, I'm hoping you can see this at the bottom. 
It's a really nice length. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you, I could go upstairs in this and no one will see anything. It's beautiful. This has an inner white lining, so it's not particularly sheer. The sleeves, I suppose that you can wear them down like this as well as up like I had them before. I personally much prefer them when they're down. I just, I think it's very elegant to have this area all open. I'm gonna swap into the medium, but I'll just, I'll just stand back here and then we'll bring the picture of the medium one across. Okay, so the medium actually gives me room to wear the push-up bra underneath, which kind of changes the whole upper shape of it. Also, the medium is ever so slightly longer. I don't know if you can see the length. Can you see? Again, on or off the shoulder, still looks really pretty either way, but the medium, when I wear it off the shoulder, it falls down on the sleeves very, very low because the elastic, there's more room in the arms. So it's just a little bit confusing for me because the medium now is like way too big around the sleeves. Look, like the way, <laughs> way too big around the sleeves, but a good size here. So I don't know, uh, it's a bit of a hard one. I can't really say exactly which size that I would tell you guys to go for. Probably just look at the measurements on the website and see what might suit you better. But either way, whichever size that you go for, this dress is gorgeous and I love it. This is like one of my favorite dresses now. I adore it so much. Now I have a couple more accessories 